Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, we'll solve this problem that appeared in J-Advanced 2017 and it's a problem that is based on the topic of center of mass. So let's read the problem statement. So we have a block of mass M that has a circular cut with a frictionless surface as shown in the figure. The block rests on the horizontal frictionless surface of a fixed table. Initially, the right edge of the block is at x equals 0 in a coordinate system fixed to the table. A point mass m is released from rest at the topmost point of the path as shown in the figure and it slides down. When the mass loses contact with the block, its position is x and its velocity is v. So, just before this mass, you know, uh, leaves this block, its velocity v is given and its position x is given. Then we have to talk about the velocity of the point mass m, the velocity of the block capital M, displacement of the center of mass, and we have to talk about the position of the point mass. Okay, so do give this problem a try and then check out my video later for the concepts involved. So let's begin with the solution. So when the mass m is about to lose contact with the block, its position x was given. Now as the mass m continues to slide down the block, it continuously applies a normal force on the block, which means the block will have a displacement towards the left. And that displacement, uh, let's say it is equal to x. And when the mass m reaches the bottommost position, it the position of the mass m is x and its velocity was small v. And the block will have some velocity, let's take it as capital V, okay? Also, this let's assume the center of mass of the block is at a distance of x from our origin, okay? Now, if we just look at the x direction, if we take small m and capital M as our system, there is no external force acting in the x direction. So we can say that sigma fx is zero, which basically means that the acceleration of the center of mass in the x direction is simply zero, right? As the acceleration of the center of mass is zero, we can say delta v of center of mass is zero, right? So the velocity of the center of mass will not change. As the center of mass was initially at rest, it means that finally also it should be at rest, right? Because because delta v is zero. It, it basically means that the center of mass will not change its position. Or we can say delta x of the center of mass is zero. And this is what we'll be using in this question. Delta x cm is basically m1 delta x1 plus m2 delta x2 divided by m1 plus m2 and this is equal to zero where delta x1 is the displacement of the mass 1 and delta x2 is the displacement of the mass 2 okay now observe something this block of mass capital m as a whole has displaced by an amount of x towards the left right which means the center of mass of the block will also be displaced by the same amount x so capital m times the displacement of the mass m is going to be minus x i gap plus. Now let's talk about the smaller mass. Now the displacement of the smaller mass is going to be now, relative to this block of mass m, it has covered a distance of r in the i cap direction, right? But this block itself has moved by a distance of x towards the left. So in the ground frame, the displacement of the small m mass is going to be r minus x in the i cap direction. This is going to be zero, which means from here, we'll get the value of x as m r divided by small m plus capital M. Okay, so the distance of the small m mass from the origin is m r divided by small m plus capital M. So if you check out the options, option C is wrong. The position of the point mass x is wrong. Uh, and, and option B, they have asked us about the displacement of the center of mass of, of the block. And that, as we as I explained earlier, is simply going to be x, right? And x is m r by small m plus capital M, which basically means option B will be correct. Now we have to find the velocities of the masses. Okay, now as sigma fx is zero, we can say that the system's momentum in the x direction is conserved. So initially both the blocks were at rest, which means the initial momentum is zero. And finally, it is mv i cap minus capital M times capital V in the minus i cap. So we can simply say small m times small v equals capital M times capital V. So this will be our first equation. And secondly, as there are no energy losses uh, in the given question, we can conserve energy. So initially, both the blocks were at rest, so it didn't have any kinetic energy. Now, as the small m was mass was initially up here, and now it is down here, it has fallen by a distance of r, which means the decrease in potential energy of the small m mass is going to be mgr, right? And this would be equal to the increase in kinetic energy of the system. Now, capital V is going to be small mv divided by capital M. And after solving this, we'll get the velocity of the mass small m as this particular value, which is given in, which is given in option A. 
and option D will be wrong. That was it for this question, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below and do share this with your friends if you found this helpful and do like and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching, guys.